Hello friends, today I will be discussing one very important concept of similarity transformations of matrices. You have heard about similarity transformations in your BSc and MSc courses. What are they? You everybody knows that if two matrices are related by like B equals to S inverse AS, then it is called A and B are similar matrices or they are related by similarity transformation. Your S matrix should be a N cross N matrix, uh, which is non-singular, means uh, S, uh, uni inverse of S must exist, of course. So we uh, know that A and B have many, many things uh, similar. What are they? Uh, we know A and B have same determinant, trace, characteristics polynomial, and eigenvalues. All these properties you can prove very easily. So before going to the next slide, I just repeat that A and B are similar matrices if they are related by that equation B equals to S inverse AS and A and B have similar determinant, trace, characteristics, polynomial and eigenvalues. So next to physical significance, which is very important. Coming to the physical significance of similarity transformation, we know that every matrix can be thought of an operator. Yes. Every matrix can be thought of an operator. You can think geometrically, say if you can think uh, 3 cross 3 matrices in Cartesian coordinate system, uh, you can represent matrices as, uh, you can think as a matrix, as rotation, as reflection, etc., etc. So uh, if when you are writing a matrix, you are writing that matrix with respect to a basis. That thing should be clear. So you have a matrix, that matrix is written with respect to a basis and that matrix is an operator. It means something, right? It operates, it transforms something to something. So A is a linear operator in a given basis, say uh, EI. Very important thing is, which you may not know till today, that B represent the same linear operator but in a different basis. So your A and your B are related by similarity transformation and physically it signifies that A and B represents the same operation. A and B represent the same operation but in a different basis. So how this EI and EJ are related, how these two different basis are related, of course they should be related by the uh, matrix S. So uh, how you look at the equation in the box, uh, boxed equation, that E dash J, your new basis in which uh, B is written, is equals to the sum over of EIJ over EI, means each and every column of your S matrix represents the coefficient which transforms your basis EI to E dash J means E basis to E dash basis these are two different basis these two basis are related by your S matrix each and every column of your S matrix transforms one uh, prime one non primed basis in which A has been represented to timed basis in which B will be represented. Well, uh, I think you got the point. We'll be uh, moving to more properties in the next slide. So, very important thing. What happens when your S is a orthogonal or unitary matrix and your uh, unprimed basis means your basis of your A is orthonormal. Read it, read, read the point and listen to the point very carefully. Uh, in the previous slide, uh, we have uh, learned the physical significance of uh, similarity transformation. Now I'm specifying a more specific matter that uh, your A matrix, original matrix has been written in a orthogonal basis system, orthonormal basis system and the matrix S by which you are transforming your A matrix is a orthogonal or unitary matrix. What happens? What happens is that your new basis, the 
timed basis will be or so orthonormal means uh, orthogonal or unitary transformation uh, preserves the orthonormality of your basis vectors i will repeat you have a orthonormal basis in which you have represented one matrices one matrix then you transform that matrix by a orthogonal or unitary matrix which is s matrix your new basis in which your b will be written will be also a orthonormal basis so the orthonormality of the basis is preserved this has profound significance in quantum mechanics when you will read quantum mechanics when you will represent these matrices in quantum mechanical operators and your basis as a quantum mechanical basis you will get the point very 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 carefully so uh, when we have some more properties if your s is unitary and a is hermitian then b is also hermitian if your s is unitary and a is unitary then b is also unitary so the hermeticity and unitarity of the matrices are preserved in unitary transformation so that's all for similarity transformation thank you so much to listening in my video next video will be on diagonalization of matrix uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel to get automatic update thank you thank you